I hear people all the time, and this is when I'm, with, especially when I'm training real estate agents, and they're going like, I can't figure it out how to do this or how to do this. So, like if they don't even have a YouTube channel, they're like, how do you, how, I can't figure out how to do it or I can't figure out how to do a video or upload it to YouTube or how to do it unlisted or they always, they have all this like technology in their hands. They got this, which is the most powerful piece of technology ever created. They got their computer and then they're like, can you help me do this? And it's some little crazy thing. And I'm like, do you have a junior high kid? you know, a son or a daughter or a grandchild, they can figure it out, right? And we always talk about, you know, our kids are better at technology than we are, and how come kids can figure out technology and adults can't? And I know the answer. I finally figured it out because I have a, a niece that, uh, um, she's probably 10 or 11 years old when I figured this out, and uh, here's what it is. She gets a new smartphone, so she got her, she, she, when she turned 11, I think, 11 or 12, she got a new iPhone 7 or 6 or whatever it is. And she got the S model, the big one, the fat one. And she didn't have a clue how to use an iPhone. But by the end of the, this was at like Christmas, and by the end of the holidays, we were there for like three days. And by the end of that, she was like, she could do everything on it. She had it all figured out. And I'm like, how did she figure it out? And here's why. She was willing to sit there for hours and figure it out. And she just play with it. And to her, this was this was adventure. She's playing. The reason adults can't figure out technology is we download a new app or we get a new piece of a technology and we try it for two minutes and we go like, ah, I feel lost. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm no good with technology. And then we create this story and we can't do it. Because we, one, we say we can't do it. We're like, I'm, I'm lousy with technology. And two, we're not patient. And a kid is totally patient and they'll spend two hours figuring out one little game, a video game, or figuring out some app, because they're just wanting to sit there and play with it until they get it. And they're not, they don't have this self-imposed, I gotta figure this out now, why can't I understand this? I've, I've got a college education, I should know how to use this. You know, It's new technology, it's new stuff. You, we, um, we're so impatient when it comes to learning something new that we wanna know it right now. And we look at it and we spend two minutes on it and it doesn't seem to make sense to us. And so we give up on it. We, and then we create a story that says, I'm not good with technology. If you want to learn any new skill, if you want to learn any new thing, you got to be willing to be patient and give yourself time to learn it. To be stupid before you get smart. To, to suck before you succeed. You got to, you know, every master was at one time a disaster. If you're going to do anything, you know, like we did the new tomahawk thing. I, first time I threw it, I sucked. Right? Practice, 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 but you gotta be patient and not throw it one time and it doesn't stick and go like, oh, this is too hard, I can't do this. It's the first time, you gotta learn. Patience. I think kids have, when it comes to learning something new, they have a patience that we don't have as adults and they are just, they love the journey of learning and experiencing it rather than wanting to, we don't, we are in such a hurry now as adults, we just wanna know it and we're done. Patience is a virtue forever. <laughs>